नमस्कार ओम अमितेश्वराय नमः आई एम डॉक्टर अमिता विश्वास चेयरमैन बेंगल डायबिटीज फाउंडेशन प्रैक्टिसिंग डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट इन दुर्गा विद दिस इंट्रोडक्शन आई लाइक टू डिस्कस टू टॉपिक्स द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज हाइपरटेंशन एंड इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशंस व्हाट इज हाइपरटेंशन व्हेन हाइपरटेंशन इज साइंटिफिक टर्म ऑफ द हाई ब्लड प्रेशर व्हाट इज हाई ब्लड प्रेशर व्हेन द ब्लड प्रेशर इज सर्टेनली अबव द नॉर्मल लिमिट एज पर द एज एंड सेक्स of high blood pressure it is very common it is very common so many a time we neglect even if the doctor says that you are require a medicine to this a lot of myths are there in the mind no i will mean, not take the medicine right now this way but why it is so the simple incidents if you uh, water your plant with your pipe what do you do the normal pressure water on the plant so that it it nourishes the plant but suppose you take the or keep very close and the high pressure water on the plant the dew will come with few for days the plant will die similarly when there is a high blood pressure in your body the body is having every cells of the body is having a releasing a blood at a high blood pressure so there is a pressure on the every point of every cells of the body so it is very essential to control the hypertension because it leads to many diseases commonly which is of heart attack comes from strokes so there are different eight different ways how hypertension affects in our body it increases the heart attack and the stroke because the hypertension because the artery becomes narrow it becomes it loses elasticity so it is continuously going and blood the oxygen rich blood is going to the passage and is unable to pass because the passage becomes narrow so under a high concentration is passing and so because of the high constant pressure it gets a plaques on the arterial wall leading to thinning and that is to hypertension and stroke it also leads to heart failure how come because it's pump failure heart failure means a pump failure heart is always pumping to send the blood for the whole body now if there is a high pressure of the exit gate so heart has to pump more stronger and on the over a period of time heart fails to pump so it is a heart failure it can cause chest pain you may have a normal life without any problem but suppose the patient of blood pressure or do something extra exercises he goes for a half hour goes for a long walk when the aerobic exercises the blood may not be able to reach the cardiac cells so he may have a pain which is known in common known as the angina it can cause the kidney damage in same way the kidney is receiving the blood at a very high pressure so gradually it damages the kidney and it can lead to the kidney failure you can have an early visual problems vision difficulty will be there because of because eye is full of micro vessels so if the hypertension causes a constantly it can lead to bleeding it can lead to uh, visual disturbance activities can lead to blindness there can be sexual dysfunction there is loss of libido in females and erectile dysfunction in males there can be highly the higher risk of peripheral artery disease in the legs and the peripheries and if anybody is having a heart peripheral artery disease it leads to high heart rate and stroke and there is a risk of hypertension emergencies if the blood pressure suddenly goes up to more than 200 by 120 one may have an hypertension emergency there are a lot of symptoms dizziness headache unconsciousness burning in the eye nasal bleed somebody having a piles the piles bleed this all can happen so everything the blood pressure has to be controlled and along with the other medicines also you have to control your uh, uh, salt intake regular exercise a regular diet to control and whenever not possible talk to your doctor and take the medicine as per his advice now i will discuss the relation between cholesterol and high blood pressure why it is important the first question comes what is cholesterol cholesterol is a waxy substance which is found in the every cells produced by the liver to form hormones vitamin d and different substances for digestion now cholesterol is usually body produced by the body of substantial amount which is required for the body's regular function but many of us may have a higher cholesterol in the body because of the food we take our food intake the normal body metabolism main the pulls the cholesterol as per our requirement but whenever we had a poultry food or a red meat 
or a high dairy products that can lead to excess production of cholesterol by liver. So in turn, keeps the blood level of the cholesterol and its parts very high. Why it is so worried? Because when the cholesterol level is high, the cholesterol rich blood passes through the blood vessels, which is already having a hypertension. So there is a strain on the blood blood movement. So cholesterol particles deposits inside the different inside the wall of the arteries. So it becomes a plaque. So this plaque make the artery more narrower and increases the hypertension. And because of constant thrust on this plaque, plaque will rupture. That can be that can lead to the stroke and macular infarction. Now there are different types of cholesterol in the body. LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, it gives the blood uh, cholesterol to the blood, and there is HDL. Which is a good cholesterol, which takes out the cholesterol from the blood. Now, how to prevent it? The we in our diet, we should avoid the high saturated fat containing things like cheese, butter, red meat, ghee, and we should increase the products which are containing more of polyunsaturated fatty acid and monounsaturated fatty acid, UFA and UFA, that is found in the olive oil, rapeseed oil, and sunflower oil. But point is this. If the cholesterol level is constantly high, our first task should be on the diet and exercise. And it is both a required only for the blood pressure also. But only cholesterol medicine may not be sufficient to bring down the blood pressure because we have to increase our uh, fruits and vegetables intake. We have to decrease our salt intake. We have to decrease our alcohol consumption. We have to avoid smoking, and we have to increase exercise. So basically, overall. The management of diet and exercise is the prime uh, things required to maintain a good blood pressure and to maintain a good cholesterol level. Also, of course, we have to think when to test. The guideline says more than 20 years of age, everybody should take the lipid profile at least once in three to five years. If there is a family history, is family history of high blood pressure, is family history of dyslipidemia, family history of CVS, then it can be even more frequently. And you have to maintain your weight in control. Though there is a bad misnomer that cholesterol is available only in the obese people, it's not like that. Obese people may be high obese, but even the thin people are having a high blood pressure or a high cholesterol level. So always, irrespective of your sex, age, and uh, your height, weight, you should check your cholesterol before two six years. Control your cholesterol, regular exercise, diet control, and if it is beyond the limits, consult your doctor to the proper medications. So that can control it. Thank you very much.